Now that marijuana is legalized in Pennsylvania, you can grow it. You're going to need, your first part of growing marijuana is to have a good pot to put your marijuana in. And we have plenty of them here at Island Hill Farm for you. I don't raise marijuana, but I have lots and lots of pots. So if you're a pothead and you want a pot, you come to Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. We'll take care of you. We have pots for the potheads. These are arrowwood viburnums used as a hedge. These have been in about five years. This hedge is a very thick and full hedge. The particular variety of viburnum that this is, is called the Chicago Luster. It will have a glossy green leaf, white flowers, and then blueberries in the summer. One of the advantages of viburnums is you can cut these down in, in a hedge, and it's very, very bird friendly. And you can't damage them by trimming. You can cut this down to two feet or one feet, and it will grow right back. It's a very hardy native plant to Pennsylvania and eastern U.S. locations. And we do grow these at Highland Hill Farm on Route 313 in Fountainville. You can give us a call at 215-651-8329 for your viburnums. We have plenty. Not many white birches are resistant to the bronze birch borer, but this variety, the white satin, does show good resistance to the bronze birch borer, making it an attractive substitute for a white birch in the landscape. This birch has a white satin bark, attractive foliage, and golden fall color. The parent originated from seed distributed by the USDA North Central Plant Introduction Station in Ames, Iowa. It was planted in the mid-70s and it survived other seedlings in the population which were lost due to the bronze birch borer. The parent tree measures approximately 40 feet in height with 30 foot in spread and it should be good for USDA zones 5 through 7. This tree is available at Highland Hill Farm and as a comparison in this video we shall also show you the Duraheat and the Heritage River birch which we also have available. In the field, we have thousands of regular straight species river birches available for your selection as well. You can call us at Highland Hill Farm at 215-651-8329. Thank you. This is Bill at Highland Hill Farm, and today I want to tell you a story about Mother's Day. A couple days ago, a man came here looking for a holly for his yard. And when he was ready to pay, he said he also needed a holly for his mom. Now, this man was about my age, so I said to him, uh, well, there's some, some little perennials outside the window here. Just take her one and tell her it's from Bill at Highland Hill Farm. And so he was very happy to get a free perennial for his mother. And I was happy to give it to him. And we struck up a little conversation. And here's the story of that conversation. This man's approximately my age. And he said that his mother was 89. And I asked him, oh, well then your father was probably a vet. And he said, yes, my father was a vet. I said, mine too. And he said that he really missed his father. His father died a couple years ago. And I said, I also. My mother and father are both deceased, and I miss them both. And then he said, uh, was your father in the Army? And I said, no, my father was in the Army Air Corps. And he was, in the, he was saying that uh, his father was in the Army. And he then went on to say that his father was in the Battle of the Bulge and had been captured by the Germans and escaped. And I looked at him and I said, hmm, when I was a kid I knew a man who was also in the Battle of the Bulge, and he escaped. 
And that man was a true hero to me because he taught me an awful lot about life. And he said to me, what was that man's name? And I said, that man's name was Benny Janeski from Lambertville, New Jersey. He looked at me in surprise and awe, and he said, that's my father. And so I met Benny Janeski Jr. I had known his father and his mother from many years ago. In fact, I knew they lived on Rock, Rock Hill Road in, in Lambertville, or Rocktown Road in Lambertville, and that his father had a TD9 bulldozer, and it started with gas and ran then with diesel. You switched it over from gas to diesel. I knew his father was a great mechanic and a great operator of heavy equipment. And I said to him, you know, I always, I knew his father very well. I saw him sometimes daily back in the, the 60s when I knew him. And so we, we, that's the story I wanted to tell you today about the two men that are mean a lot to me, my father and Benny Janeski.